potentially powerful hurricane Irma may impact the Caribbean region in the coming weeks. It is being monitored very closely by forecasters. On Thursday, Hurricane Irma, the ninth storm of this year's Atlantic hurricane season, strengthened into a Category 2 hurricane, and current projections indicate that the Caribbean and southeast coast of the United States could be impacted by the cyclone. Irma's current projected path has it heading for the Lesser Antilles, but the storm is expected to become a major hurricane before reaching those islands. However, as for now, Irma remains in the Atlantic and is expected to stay over open waters for up to the next six days. Weather Channel is reporting that the center of Hurricane Irma is located about 650 miles to the west of the Cape Verde Islands and is moving west-northwest at about 10 miles per hour. The storm could become a Category 3 or a stronger hurricane as early as a Thursday night and a Category 4 hurricane by the weekend. It is a Far too soon to speculate if the storm will impact Jamaica in any way as uh, long range projections aren't usually very reliable. Forecasters are continuing to monitor the system. So out there in the Atlantic off the coast of West Africa about 650 miles or so um, west of the Cape Verde Islands, Irma has threatened into a Category 2 hurricane as of midday on Thursday. But the significant thing here though, peeps, is that Irma only became a tropical storm at midnight on Wednesday. So within a couple of hours, it has moved from tropical depression to tropical storm, now a Category 2 hurricane. There is great potential for Irma to ramp up to a powerful hurricane in the coming days. Irma is likely to become a major hurricane well before it reaches the lesser Antilles. That is not good news, is it? Irma will take about a week for the system to make its trek westwards across the Atlantic Ocean. Meteorologists could be tracking the system through to the middle of September, even more worrying. All interest in the Eastern Caribbean will need to monitor the progress of this evolving and likely dangerous tropical cyclone. At this current time, plenty of atmospheric factors will come into play to determine the path of Irma and upper atmospheric wind shear will be the greatest factor because that can change the path or influence the path that the hurricane travels. Possibilities range from landfall in the Leeward Islands or in the Northeastern Caribbean to the Carolinas and the island nation of Bermuda and listen to this now anything or everything else can happen between all our women just a look while so there is no specific part at this point in time it is way too early but the span um, that the path can take is very very wide uh, one theory is that shearing or steering winds will guide Irma close to the Leeward Islands and then perhaps Puerto Rico and Hispaniola now that becomes very close to Jamaica isn't it? around the middle of next week conditions are favorable for tropical development throughout the central atlantic heightening the, th the threat of significant strengthening at the very least there will be an increase in surf in the northeastern caribbean early next week worrying isn't it so guys if you look closely you will realize that the, the the red markings are symbols um, representing the movement the possible movement of hurricane irma and you will realize that it will be late into next week before the system really and truly start to come on the radar for the caribbean region approaching the leeward islands and as i said the projected path parts at this moment are very varied and very wide and any combination of things can happen but the fact of the matter is that the summer months have been so hot so you can appreciate the fact that the atlantic ocean as well as the Caribbean Sea would have absorbed a lot of heat and it's currently very warm and the conditions are very favorable for not just the spawning but the growth and intensification of hurricanes and one of the worrying things about this piece is that this is already a category 2 hurricane and it is way out in the Atlantic Ocean near to the Cape Verde Islands Zane, and with conditions being so favorable you can just imagine what might happen before that system enters the Caribbean region it might be very very serious so it is even expected that it might reach category 3 strength within the next couple of hours into tonight and then 
good. <laughs> it's it's not a good look, piece. So we're hoping for the best here. I will continue to monitor this probably on a daily basis as it becomes um closer and closer to the region and wet any moment in time it becomes a threat to jamaica i will be jumping on it immediately um, i'll keep you posted thank you for watching the video drop a like and a comment down below and consider subscribing if you haven't done so as yet until next time, walk good.